Yeah, and, and again, it, it comes back to you have to wonder, uh, are we compromised at the highest levels of this country? You saw a lot of money flow from Chinese companies into the bank accounts of Hunter Biden and then indirectly into Joe Biden and Jim Biden and everybody in the Biden circles. You see all of these illegal Chinese nationals coming over the southern border. Nothing happens. Uh, you see these bio labs in places like California. Nothing happens. You see these battery plants being built in Michigan and Kentucky and so forth. Nothing happens. Are we compromised? I mean, you have to ask at some point, Isla, are we compromised? Because anybody can see this. The head of the five eyes can all see it. And for me, I'm thankful that somebody's finally standing up there and saying what I have said for years, which is the Chinese Communist Party is the single biggest threat to America and the world every single day, and it grows every single day, doesn't it? Com completely agree agreed, Steve. And I think that we, are, we, you know, we have been compromised, not just one administration. Take for an example that the, the current vice premier of the Chinese Communist Party, Wang Qishan's family, of, you know, family's relatives, they acquired lands and they purchased the luxury mansions in the, in the time of 80s and 90s to an extent that they bought the whole avenue in California. What are the secrets beneath these mansions that we never heard an, an official act nation from this government, right? And I think these are the, the exact points that we need to conduct a thorough investigation and we, to an extent that the United States people need to understand that Chinese people is different from the CCP. We have lots of freedom lo Chinese, you know, freedom loving Chinese people who are urged this country, who, who lived in this country and who wanted to take actions against the Chinese Communist Party. We cannot be compromised further because the cost is too high. Yeah, so uh, what do we do? We've got about a minute left here, Isla. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's really good that we're finally getting some people that are waking up. The mental thaw is happening. People are looking around going, wait a second. Our pharmaceuticals lead back to China. Our critical uh, items and other supply chains lead back to China. China can yank it back. China's putting battleships into the Middle East because they back Iran which have backs Hamas and Hezbollah. Uh, we see all of these, at least people are waking up. I'll give you the last word. Thank you, Steve. I think, you know, a pure sanction on the top CCP's officials and their families, especially their overseas illegal assets. Chinese Communist Party is a transnational terrorist and criminal organizations. They do not just work with criminals. They are the criminals. Thank you, Steve.